All right, guys, here I am. I'm back for more information about the new command, the uh, scoreboard. So if you saw my last video, you remember about uh, what's new about the new command. If you did not see it yet, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description below and an annotation on the top left corner of this video. All right, so for this command, there is objectives and players, which are kind of old. They are like one week old, so we're used to them. But they added something on the objectives. When you want to display your score, uh, you used to be able to write either uh, list or sidebar. But now they added below name. And then once you, you, you write in the scoreboard objectives, set display below name, you add your objective name, and then you press enter. So what will happen is your points will be showed under your head, just under your, your player's name. And so other players will be able to see your score just by looking at you. And they cannot see it if they are further than 10, 10 blocks away from you. So that's a pretty cool feature. But now let's jump onto the new feature, which is called Teams. So you write the scoreboard and then Teams and all these possibilities below, it, below here. So first of all, I have to explain something. When I, I say Teams, I mean more than one person. And right now I am alone. So I won't be able to show you guys how the thing works, the things works, and all that stuff. So I will just explain to you how to write them and what they do, but I cannot show you exactly what they do. So you'll have to just take my words for it. So um, let's start. First of all, when you write in uh, Teams, you have different options you can write. So you can either write a list, which will show all the teams that are uh, actives. So we'll, we're gonna start with this. So let's write in slash scoreboard teams. And then if I actually, I'm gonna add a team. So add, and I will add it, uh, Minecraft. And that's it. So the team is now called Minecraft. And uh, if I make a list, so scoreboard teams list, you will see there are actually two other, <coughs> two other the teams that I created uh, before. So you can see the three teams here. So Minecraft, which has zero players, Pokemon, which has one, and Zelda, which has zero. So the one player is me, obviously, because I'm alone. But yeah, you can create teams by using the add command and then your team's name, which will create the team, which is pretty obvious, I must say. You can also write in remove, which will, after that, remove the team uh, you write in. So remove your team's name, and then it will delete that theme. So here's an example. Slash scoreboard teams, remove, and I'm going to remove uh, Pokemon. So I remove Pokemon, press enter, removed team Pokemon. So I will go back to list, and we'll see there is only two teams right now. So Minecraft and Zelda. If we go to empty. And T, and then your team's name, will remove all the players from that team. So right now, as you can see, there is um, uh, zero players on each team. So I'm going to add myself with the join command. With join, you can uh, add your team's name, the players, and then it will add this player to the team. So let's add myself to Zelda. So scoreboard, teams, join. Uh, team's name, which is Zelda, and then my name, Joyamak. Here we go. What is that? Could not add one player Joyamak to the team Zelda. What? Why is that? I don't understand. But you know what? Whatever. I don't care. I will just try something else. Scoreboard. Teams. Join. Uh, Zelda and then my name it should work it does not work okay the thing is maybe it does not work for yourself but if you add uh, someone else's name it will work if you want to if you put uh, no name it will add the player which is writing the command so if I go just like this no name is written down that means I will be the one going in Enter, here we go. So if you want to add yourself to a team, you have to just write no name. So nothing, you write nothing, and then you press enter, you will be added to a team. 
And now if we check teams, so scoreboard, actually that's score E, board, teams, and list, you will see I'm now in the Zelda team. So Zelda has one player. Right, so now with the empty command, I will uh, empty the Zelda team. So go ahead, scoreboard, teams, empty, Zelda. Here we go, removed all players from Zelda team. Let's list all the teams. Minecraft, zero players, Zelda, zero players again. So I just removed myself from the Zelda team. You can also uh, put leave and then a team's name, the, a player's name, which will remove that specific player from the specific team you write in. If you write no name, just like the last one, the come and join and leave, they are pretty much the same thing, but the opposite. So if you write no name in this command, which is a leave one, you will uh, remove yourself from the team. There is also two options you can have for the teams. First is the team's name, and then you can add friendly fire, which will enable or disable the friendly fire for your teammates. Let me put this to daytime, all right? So yeah, you can add friendly fire. You just go option, team names, uh, friendly fire, and then the value, which is true or false. So true means Friendly fire is on and false, friendly fire is off. So you cannot hit your teammates if you have friendly fire to off. All right, and then the other option is uh, the color. So um, you can just go option, team's name, red in color, and then the color value, which are all these possibilities here. I'm gonna go over one of each of them. So um, you can add as the color value, gold, and then you press enter, yellow, then enter, white, black, blue, dark blue, green, and you really need to put these underscore and make sure all the, the uh, for all the colors you write, uh, no capitals, so all uh, little letters, just like these ones. So dark blue, green, dark green, light purple, dark purple, aqua, dark aqua, gray, dark gray, red, and dark red. So keep in mind that these colors are not the real colors they should look like. I just, I've put these blocks as a reference, but they are not the real colors. Actually, I cannot see the real colors because what these colors do is quite simple. When you play with multiple players, you can change your color and then in the chat, your name will, be, will have the color that you chose. But if I just change my color and I write something, my name will always appear as white. So even if I put myself to green, my name in the chat will always be shown as a white name so I cannot show you the real colors but I think they should all look about like these ones but I don't know I cannot check them so uh, that's pretty much it I cannot do much more since I'm alone so uh, I hope you guys understand that I will leave this uh, tree information whatever in the comment section below the video so you guys can always go check it out and uh, you can always go back to my previous video to understand what you can do with the objectives and the players. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, have a good day and see you next time.